What's going on, YouTube? Did you miss me? All right. Um, I'm sitting in my car. It's about three o'clock in the morning. Got to catch a train. All right. And I know you guys are hard at work on your brands and stuff like that. And um, you might be looking for a little, you know, some direction. And that's what I'm here for. I got some direction for you. Because at the end of the day, the name of my brand is Direction Choose Your Own Path, right? So before I get into that, check out my intro. that we back check this out y'all all right what we're going to talk about is there's a couple of brands that there's a couple of excuse me there's a couple of uh manufacturers or companies that provide blinks that i never ever ever use for my brand okay now i'm gonna name these companies and I don't want, if you already using these companies, don't take offense to it. Listen, it's just me per se. You don't have to listen to me. I'm just telling you guys what I do. Um, these particular companies, I think, are trash. And <laughs> Excuse me for my choice of words, but yeah, I think they're trash. Okay? And I would never, ever put any of my designs on these garments. Especially if it's a nice design, a high quality design that you really, really love. And you're like, man, I killed that design. You don't never want to put that type of design on a Hanes garment. To me, Hanes is straight trash. And I'm a, and, I, and I'm a, and, and not to, not to just call out Hanes first, but, you know, I'm going to break this down. Like, uh, companies like Hanes for Blinks. Uh, Gildan, I absolutely hate Gildan. Gildan is trash. Jerseys, Jerseys is trash too. Don't ever go with Jerseys. Um, Fruit of Loom, all these companies, man, do not put any of your great artwork on any of these blanks. All right. Now, I consider these companies. Uh, you can use these companies for like, if you're doing like promotional pieces or something like that, you know, giveaways, something that you, you know, uh, with like, you know, any one of your basic logos or your, you know, your brand name on it, something not too intricate, you know, you want to throw it out there, give it away as a gift, a prize or something like that. Yeah, that's cool. Or like, you know, establishments, I don't know, like an ice cream you know, parlor or, you know, uh, you know, places like, you know, car washes, you know, these type of, you know, uh, uh, jobs and facilities where, you know, they need, they need, uh, new company, uh, uniforms all the time because you're constantly like getting like dirty and stuff like that. I don't know. Um, I don't know any anywhere where you know you you you're getting like real real dirty and stuff like that. These 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 types of these these companies like yeah use 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 those blanks for places like that where you really don't care um about you know the quality of the tea. But don't ever ever don't use these companies for your brand. All right, because at the end of the day, uh, especially if you if you if you're putting out high quality designs and um you know you you're you're marketing you know the type of customer where you know uh you want them to feel good about the product that you're putting out and you want them to come back you know this ain't like your little lollipop you know design or brand where you know people are just you know running around. <laughs> sweating it up funking it up and just you know and just gonna throw it up throw it away like when they get home or whatnot all right 
I mean, if you want something, if you want, if you want to build a brand where you're producing high quality sweatshirts, t-shirts, or what have you, where, you know, people could wash these garments over and over and over again, and potentially 10 years later, still pull out your piece and be like, mm, mm. yeah, this still feel comfortable. Print still look nice. I, I I love this piece. I remember where I when I bought this piece ten years ago, and I and I still have it. I'm in this stuff like that. All right, when I when I'm you know making my designs and um I'm trying to figure out uh which if I'm if I'm using blanks, which blank company I'm gonna go with. I I'm gonna I'm gonna pick a company that I know. The quality of material is gonna, you know, stand the test of time. All right, I don't want, I don't want this cardboard filling, uh, Brillo pad filling type of cotton that's just straight terrible, and that's not gonna last. And those particular companies, I feel like, have that type of uh, material, so I try to stay away from them. All right, so once again, the Hanes, stay away from Hanes. Trash. Gildan, stay away from Gildan. Trash. Jerseys, definitely stay away from Jersey. They straight trash. Fruit of the Loom, trash. All right, now, and these companies, like, if you pay attention, like, over time, like, everything starts to like shrink up and the sweatshirts and the and 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 and, and, the, and the hoodies you know over time they start to like shrink and raise up in the back so <laughs> now the back of your sweatshirt is like in the middle of your back after like three washes and they got all these lint balls on you we don't we're not trying to we're not building that type of brand over here all right so we want to take you know pride in you know the product that we're putting out so once again stay away from those type of brands and in the beginning like i said if you just getting your feet wet and that's the only thing you can afford at the time cool i ain't knocking you but try to make your transition you know away from these things all right eventually you know hopefully you'll get into you know cut and sew and find yourself a manufacturer that's making some nice quality cotton uh for you all right um and also yeah i like to go with i said this in the past try to always if you're going to be pressing try to always go with uh 100 cotton or materials or blank excuse me that have more cotton in them per se than polyester all right um uh what else i got for y'all yeah that's pretty much it man you know it's early in the morning like i said i'm about to catch this train and i just wanted to hit y'all with you know that information okay now if any of these particular companies watching this video right now I apologize on my behalf, but you guys know what time it is. And that's why you guys are selling so many of your t-shirts because they're cheap. And at the end of the day, people are people don't really like spending like a lot of money. And you know what they're using your product for pretty much. You know, promotional and stuff like that. Ain't nobody really building a brand off that trash. Okay? Now, oh, one more company. One more company that caught me off guard too. Anvil. I used to hate Anvil. I used to put Anvil in that group as well. But Anvil, I found that Anvil has a lightweight uh style of shirt that I use that I use like in the summertime and it's nice and soft. Especially the uh their their heather like bling colors. Oh those sweats those are excuse me, those Shirts are so soft. So, in the summertime or 
areas where you know uh the climate is always like hot yeah y'all make sure y'all check out that anvil uh they're lightweight they're lightweight style of tea thank me letter nice soft uh the print holds up well on those teas as well all right so that's pretty much it y'all those were those were the top companies that I try to stay away from. So hopefully you guys, you know, make up your own mind at the end of the day and choose your own path. All right. I'm just a messenger here. But at the end of the day, I still want to help. Oh, and I would like to thank you guys. We cracked 400 subscriptions. Mm. Yeah, thank you. I mean, like I said before, might be small to many, but it's big to me. I'm growing. I see my growth. I see how far I came since I started taking this thing serious. And I'm going to keep going. All right, y'all make sure y'all keep watching me, man, because I got some shit coming. Skip it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basically, pay attention. Stay alert and remember, choose your own path.